Hey guys, 2D Gamer back again. Um, I found an old list of my PS1 once. Um, something I made probably over a decade ago. And uh, this is weird because most of the games I've gotten recently for the system weren't even on this list. And I don't even think the PS1 was fully dead whenever I made it. So, um, But at the time I made this, it was a time you could walk into like Game Crazy when it was still around or GameStop or EB Games and spend 10 bucks and get like three PS1 games. I mean, a lot of these were cheaper then and some of the ones on the list I, I probably have no chance of or, of ever really wanting to spend the price for them. Um, and my PS2 just broke like right after the Armored Core review, so I decided to pull out my PS1 and uh, explore further, you know, that collection or go back and play a bunch of the, the games and stuff. I mean. Uh, even though I'd say the PS2 has the best library out of all the PlayStation systems, the PS1 still probably my favorite system of all time. Just because it's that time of my life whenever it was out and about, and that's when I first really started paying attention to gaming. I mean, I always rented games, on, you know, on the Genesis and the Super Nintendo like crazy back in the day, but, you know, so when I first started, didn't start paying attention and getting <clears throat> gaming magazines and all that stuff until the PS1 era, you know, so a lot of my knowledge of the 16-bit era games, you know, um, you know, still learning and picking up on, uh, and, you know, the NES, too, is my first system that I started out with, so, um, and in the background, as you can see, I have my old montage video, it's also to help some of you, maybe, if you're looking for a specific PS1 game, because I get asked a lot of questions, you know, <clears throat> about people, uh, send me, uh, messages all the time, you know, um, can you help me find the name of this obscure PS1 game, and sometimes it's just like really weird descriptions, or maybe it's a PAL game that never came to the United States, or, you know, North America, actually, and, uh, so sometimes I have no idea, but other times it's like, oh yeah, I know what that is, that's Einhander, you know, actually the ones I get asked the most on, especially on my original montage, because this is my, uh, remade montage, where I, put all the names on. My first montage was just like my first big video, you know, so uh, didn't really put the names on, didn't really know what I was doing in editing, but uh, so in, so I have the names on this and uh, I actually made this in Windows Movie Maker because at the time uh, YouTube had limits on the size of the videos and I knew that it was going to be bigger than 100 megabytes if I... Uh, um, did it through my regular uh, editing software, but uh, I was gonna say something else, but I don't remember what I was going to say because I lost my train of thought. So, some of these on this list are guilty pleasures, and like I said, just games I wanted to try. Some of them I'm not even sure, you know, why I may have put them on there. But uh, no further ado, let's see, and it's in alphabetical order because I used to. Uh, Put it in like uh, Excel and uh, you know print it off. So um, Ace Combat 3 Electrosphere and Air Combat. I have Ace Combat 2. I just never got Air Combat or Ace Combat 3 to complete the series on the PS1. Let's see. I crossed out Alien Resurrection because I actually do own that now. Alundra 2. I have the first Alundra, but I never got around to the second one, which. It's probably a completely different playing game because it was fully 3D polygonal, whereas the first one was a 2D sprite-based, you know, Zelda-type game, but, you know, heavy on the puzzles. Uh, see, I crossed out Apocalypse, Bruce Willis in 3D, because I already own, you know, I picked that up along the way. See, Ark the Lad Collection, like most RPGs, is probably way overpriced by now. I haven't checked the prices on it recently, but... Probably on the ouch level. Let's see, Area 51. Um, always like the Area 51 games in the arcade. Still have never picked one up for home console. And uh, I don't know if I have a light gun that works on the PS1. I have a, but I have the Gun Con 2 on the PS2. So that might work. I don't know. Maybe someone can tell me. Armored Core Master of the Arena. Uh, I have the first two Armored Core games on the PS1. I just never picked up Master of the Arena. Let's see, I crossed out. Battle Arena Toshinden. I have it on the PS1 and on the Saturn. Uh, like the first big, huge, you know, killer app, a 3D fighting game that didn't really age too well. Black Dawn. 
I think I have that on the Saturn now, so I don't know. Let's see. Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. I rented that back in the day, but I uh, never got around to picking it up. We crossed out Bomberman Party Edition. I own it. Crossed out Brave French and Musashi. I own it. Musashi! <laughs> Sorry. Like, what are you saying? Anyway. Uh, Carnage Heart. Um, even the first demo disc I have on the PS1 has a, uh, a video of Carnage Heart on it. I think I, I think I did a preview of it, unless I took it down because of copyright claim, I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, it's an interesting mech game that, uh, actually, I mean, can't tell if it's like a strategy, turn-based strategy or not, because I haven't played it, but, uh, look into that one. Let's see, Colin McRae 2.0, all the Colin McRae games were, uh, always highly recommended I just never got around to playing one maybe I should get one of the newer ones on the PS2 instead or if there's any on the PS3 there's probably something Colony Wars I have Vengeance and I have uh, Red Sun but I never got the original see I crossed out Covert Ops Nuclear Dawn um, friend gave that to me recently actually the first Crash Bandicoot I crossed that out because I now own it and Crash Bash, I'm not sure if I really still want that game, I don't know. Uh, you know, <clears throat> Mario Party ripoff. But if it forces you to destroy your controller like Mario Party does, I probably don't want it. But, fun, you know, fun party games for friends. See, I crossed out Croc because I recently got that too. The first one, Legend of the Gobos. And I'll throw Croc too in there as one that I should pick up too. Um, I was never really big into platform games back in the PS1 era. Darkstalkers, Night Warriors. Not sure if the PS1 version would be the best, you know, but probably be cheaper than any Saturn version of Darkstalkers. Or Dead or Alive. Uh, I don't know if I still want that on the PS1. I can get Dead or Alive Ultimate and get, like, the arcade version, but still, maybe if I ever found it for cheap, which it probably isn't anymore. Let's see, Tecmo's Deception 3, or Deception 3. <clears throat> And I crossed out Descent and Descent Maximum because I already I picked those up. See, Destruction Derby. I don't think I own that one. Maybe I do. I don't know, sometimes I just I don't remember what it is I have. I have to run through. But maybe I have Destruction Derby 2. That might be it. But, you know, one of the original made by Reflections who later made Driver. Um, Diablo. That's gone up in price because it's a two-player Diablo, you know. But it's one of the few uh, hack and slash dungeon crawl PS1 games. See, so crossed out Dino Crisis because I picked that one up, and I didn't have Dino Crisis 2 on here yet. I don't know if it, yeah, it had been out by then. See, so yeah, I crossed out Disruptor, picked it up. Doom Special PlayStation Edition, picked that one up too. So I crossed that out. Dragon Valor, um, made by Namco, if I remember correctly. Don't remember much about it. Uh, Dragon Warrior 7 which is probably way overpriced by now too. Duke Nukem Land of the Babes. Shake it baby. Probably not that good but wanted to pick it up because I have time to kill and I never got around to uh, playing Land of the Babes. Elemental Gear Bolt. That one's uh, always seemed like an interesting concept to me. It's you know like a RPG light gun game. Uh, really interesting, and I've seen footage of it too, and I still want it, and I think it's skyrocketed in price too. Fatal Fury Wild Ambition, 3D version of Fatal Fury, probably not the greatest, but still. See, I crossed out Fear Effect 2 because I picked that one up, and I have the first one. Felony 1179, it's like a mission-based uh, driving game before Driver and all that, and uh, it's actually part of the Runabout series. See, crossed out Final Doom, crossed out Front Mission 3, because I picked those up. Future Cop LAPD, it's one I always wanted to play, and I think it's a part of the Strike series, actually, like, you know, uh, nuclear, 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 eh, can't even speak right now. Soviet Strike, Nuclear Strike. See, the first Guilty Gear, wanted to pick that up. I have X and X2 on the PS2. Gundam Battle Assault, a 2D fighter with Gundam mechs. Harvest Moon, uh, I don't, you know, actually I didn't finally get a Harvest Moon game until the PS2, actually only recently too. Heart of Darkness, that's one I definitely want to pick up soon. Um, 
2D side scroller, pre rendered environments, uh, unique. Just a fun game. See, I crashed out Hot Shots Golf because I picked that one up. Uh, but I don't have Hot Shots Golf 2. Extremely addictive golf games. Incredible Crisis! Just one of those zany, weird games at, you know, near the end of the PS1's life that was just um, hard to explain, but I definitely want to pick that one up. Intelligent Cube. Uh, I don't have a kidney to sell t in order to afford Intelligent Cube, but still on my want list forever. Iron Soldier 3. Not quite sure why I put that one on there, because Iron Soldier was uh, big on the, the the Atari Jaguar. Jackie Chan Stuntmaster! That was a really bad impression. Um, picked that one up, so I crossed that out. Let's see. I had Jet Moto and Jet Moto 2, which I crossed out, but I thought I had Jet Moto 3, but looking through my games, I have the first two, but I don't have the third one for some reason. Let's see, I crossed out Jumping Flash and Jumping Flash 2. Um, first person platformer games where you could jump really high in the air. Um, if you're prone to 3D sickness or motion sickness, I wouldn't suggest playing them. Um, pretty simplistic objectives in them, but, you know, still, still worth looking at. Uh, even today, you know, just, just something that's just a little different. Kagero Deception 2, the second game in the Deception series. So I have the first Deception game, but I don't have the second two. The first King's Field, I still haven't picked up. But uh, King's Field 2, I crossed out because I own it. At the time, I didn't have Medal of Honor Underground, which I've since gotten. I got it actually at Play and Trade a few years back. If there's even any play and trades left, Let's see medieval. The first one I don't have this. I mean, I have the second one. I just never got the first one, and I crossed out the second one too. Um, Mega Man X5, X6, which I have. I haven't even opened up my Mega Man uh, Mega Man X collection on the PS2 yet. Like I still have it factory sealed, so I'm not sure if, if those are on there. I might not even need the PS1 versions. Metal Slug X game came out near the end of the PS1's life and I've wanted it since it came out and I still, it's just one of those games that I just never got around to picking up. See, the first Monster Rancher, uh, I have the second one, and I have what I crossed out here, Monster Rancher Battle Card Episode 2. Um, let me see, Moto Racer 2, and I'll put World Tour on there too. Moto Racer 2 actually added a, a track editor which was actually really cool. Um, but, you know, just, uh, Motocross racing games on the PS1, you know. Uh, Mr. Driller, a uh, puzzle game. I have MTV Music Generator on there, but since I have, you know, Magic Music Maker, and I think I have, like, Generator 3 on the PS2 as well, I may not need to pick up the PS1 version. Nightmare Creatures 1 and 2. I've never actually gotten around to playing those games, but I've wanted them, you know, since, like, the first one came out, what, 97? So... Yeah, I've wanted it for a while. <laughs> Ogre Battle. Yeah, um... Let's see. What part of my kidney can I sell for that one? Parappa the Rappa. Uh, I've, I have Um Jammy Lammer. Um, um Jammy Lammy. And, uh, Parappa 2, but I never got the first one. Never got around to it. See, Persona and Persona 2. When I made this list, it was actually before Persona hit it huge on the PS2, so... Um, nowadays, it's, <laughs> wow, uh, probably not going to get those very cheaply, you know, if at all, if I want to pay the money. Pocket Fighter, uh, super deformed Street Fighter game. Uh, basically, they took a Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo characters and put them in a fighting game. Let's see, Poi Poi and Poi Poi 2, I don't know, both of those come to North America, I'm not sure, but I think those have gone up in price too, like, I think it was it Poiter's Point. Basically, it was like a four-player fighting game before Super Smash Brothers came out. You know, um, always looked awesome. See, I crossed out Quake 2 because I own it. Um, crossed out Ridge Racer 4 or R4 Ridge Racer Type 4 because I have it. But then again, my copy doesn't have the uh, 60 frames per second disc, so maybe I should put that back up there and. Uh, so I can get the complete game because I have the the main game disc, but I don't have like the second special disc. See, I crossed out Rage Racer. I own it. Uh, it's kind of a branch off to Ridge Racer. Uh, see, I crossed out the first Ridge Racer. I actually have that in the long box, and uh, I still have Ridge Racer Revolution that I need to pick up. So 
I got Roll Away, which is a puzzle game where you're a ball that's just like rolling around places. It's unique, to say the least. Roll Cage. I have Roll Cage 2, which I just, you know, which I crossed out because it was on my list here too. But I don't have the first one, so I don't know if I should play the second one without playing the first one. It's one of those things where it's like, well, let's see. R-Type, Delta, I have R-Types, and I need to actually go back and re-examine, like, shoot 'em ups on the PS1, because at the time, I wasn't huge into them, because I really sucked at them, but now I've gotten more into them, and I still really suck at them, but um, just on my list of games I want. Silent Bomber, I had a chance to actually pick this up back, no, oh, what is it, 2001, 2002, but I never did. Um should have actually done that. Silhouette Mirage, another unique side-scroller game. Uh, one that I, you know, haven't picked up. And Like I said, some of these games are just going to be expensive, you know, if I try and pick them up, pick them up now. Skull Monkeys. Uh, it's like a claymation 2D platformer. It uh, has a lead character from an old PC game called Neverhood in it, and uh, uh, it's one that I've wanted, you know, since the 90s, too. So... Uh, Spider-Man, and I'll say Sp Spider-Man too, because it's not on the list, but I never picked up the first Spider-Man by Neversoft, you know. And in the PS1 days, I wasn't huge on platformers, so um, the whole Spyro series, I still need to get Spyro, Spyro 2, ugh, Spyro 2, and Spyro Year of the Dragon. Actually, I think I have a copy of Spyro 2 somewhere, but I don't have the other two games in the series. Star Gladiator, um, it's a 3D fighter made by Capcom. It actually had a sequel on the Dreamcast called Plasma Sword, so I, I always kind of wanted to play that one. Star Ocean, the second story. I actually have one disc of this game, but I only have one disc of the game. So, and now picking it up is probably pretty expensive. See, I've Put down Street Fighter Alpha 2, but then I have Street Fighter Collection and Street Fighter Collection 2. <clears throat> and one of those has Street Fighter Alpha 2 Gold on it. I don't remember if it's Collection or Collection 2 that does. So if I got Street Fighter Alpha 2 Gold, or I can look for them and get them on the Saturn. You know, Saturn was a 2D beast, but at the time I don't even know if I had a Saturn or maybe I wasn't looking on the Saturn because it would, you know, everything on the Saturn is <clears throat> insanely expensive nowadays. Um, let's see, Street Feet, Street Feeder, Street Feeder, Street Fighter EX Plus Alpha, and Street Fighter EX2 Plus. <clears throat> uh, my voice is going all crazy. Strider 2, I need to pick that one up. And it actually came with a bonus disc that had the original Strider on it. But, yes, I need to pick up Strider 2. Um, see, I coshed out crossed out Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, because I picked it up since that time. And, oh look, Tactics Ogre. What other part portion of my kidney am I going to sell to get that one? I don't know. Tale of the Sun. Look that one up. That's just a completely unique and weird and goofy goofy game. Uh, Tales of Destiny 2. Ouch. On the price, ouch. Chances are I'll probably never pick that one up, unless I win the lottery, because... I, I just don't know if I really want to spend that much on any one game. Um, tech mode. Oh, I crossed out Tech Mode's Deception because I picked that one up. See, Tekken 1 and Tekken 2 I never picked up back in the day, and I still need to get them, even though they're hidden on which Tekken game? In Tekken 5, you can play the arcade versions, I think. Was it Tekken 5 or Tekken's? I don't remember. See, Test Drive 4 and Test Drive 5. I always like the Test Drive games, too. I have Test Drive 6 on the PS1. Someone gave it to me, so... You know, uh... And for the time, impressive for PS1... <coughs> for PS1, uh... Graphic cap capabilities to have a huge, you know, big city that you're driving through and racing through. Um... Test Drive has been around for a long time. I think since the, at least the Super Nintendo, so... Uh... But yeah, I always wanted to pick those up, you know, more arcadey in nature. Thousand Arms, another role-playing game. I haven't checked the price on that one lately, but anything RPG on the PS1 is uh, gonna hurt for the price. See, Time Crisis and Time Crisis Project Titan. 
those ones, you know, I, I again, I don't have a light gun for the PS1, but I still always wanted to own the Time Crisis series with the gun con. And I don't have it on the list too, but I'll throw a point blank on there too as games that I want to pick up. Let's see, Tobol number one. Uh, Tobol 2 never came to America, and people were horribly scarred by this fact. But Tobol number one, you know, made by Squaresoft, and it added, you know, a, a, like an RPG element to the game. There's like a whole RPG quest in there, and it was a really unique idea. I don't remember if I thought the fighting game aspect of it was particularly, particularly, particular. Now I can't. I don't remember the fighting aspect was that great or not. Avoiding words I can't pronounce. Tomb Raider Chronicles. I actually have it on the PC, but um, I never got the PS1 version. I don't play the PC version. Haven't uh, you know installed it on my current crappy computer. See, I crossed out Tomb Raider 3 and Tomb Raider: The Last Revelation. I picked those up along the way. <clears throat> Tomba One. I never picked that one up. And it's probably, again, high demand, high price. But I did get the one I crossed out underneath it, Tomba 2. And I crossed out Trap Gunner, which is another unique game you should actually look into. It's pretty cool. Because um, I picked Trap Gummer. Gummer. Trap Gummer. Shut your gummy trap up. Uh, Treasures of the Deep. Uh, it's like a... Um, ocean exploration slash action game, you know, it's not quite as like vague as like Echo the Dolphin or something, you know, like on the Dreamcast and the PS2, but it's got like action elements from what I remember. Uh, let's see, Valkyrie Profile, another RPG I, that slipped through my fingers and probably costs way too much now. Uh, Van Ark I crossed out, or Astro Trooper Van Ark. Um, it's almost like a Star Fox on the PS1. Um, unique game, you should look into it. Vandal Hearts 2, I have the first Vandal Hearts, which I loved, but I don't know how much Vandal Hearts 2 is going for now. I mean, some of these are affordable, it's just like, do I really want to pay that much money for a game that's like 15 years old? 16, 17, 18 years old. Uh, just what I struggled with with some of these. So I crossed out Warhawk because I picked that up. Uh, oh yeah, I can cross out Wild Arms right now. I have Wild Arms on the list, but I've picked it up since, and I have Wild Arms too as well. Crossed out Wipeout because I picked it up. Wipeout XL. Picked up. Or I forget, what's the European name for that? Wipeout something something 20 something. For whatever reason, I wanted Wu Tang Shaolin style, even though you know it's not like I'm some. Yeah, I don't know. I don't listen to but their music, but four-player fighting game, and it, like they took the engine from Thrill Kill, which EA took and killed, and put it in the game. It's an interesting game. Uh, I've played it. I think yeah, I own it. Obviously, since I just said I crossed it out. Durr. Um, <clears throat> Xeno Gears, I never picked up. I know, the greatest RPG on the PS1 and you don't own it! Yeah, sue me. Um, X-Men Mutant Academy. I have Academy too. I don't... I don't know. I'm not sure if I still want that. And Zero Divide, which is a uh, early 3D fighting game, but I think the only reason I wanted it is because it has, from what I hear, a hidden shoot 'em up uh, from the Super Nintendo called Phalanx which also got ported to the Game Boy Advance, but uh, has like a hidden shoot 'em up in the game, from what I heard. But anyways, and then I have some write-ins that I've written in over the years, and if I went through, I could revise this list over and over and over again. See, I crossed out Critical Depth because I have it. It's like a car combat under the ocean. Vanguard Bandits I, I wrote in, but uh, ouch. Vanguard Bandits, it's a, a strategy RPG with giant mechs, and it's game arts, I believe, or, yeah, game arts, I think. Either way, it's incredibly expensive now. Crossed out Pitfall 3D, because I picked that one up recently, showed a video a while back, and people were like, I never even knew this game existed. Fate to Black, which is actually the sequel to Flashback, or, and, like, Out of This World, that whole series there. Just wanted to play it. G-Police and G-Police Weapons of Justice. Um, 
made by Psygnosis, who made Colony Wars, and they were kind of a hit and miss developers. They made Colony Wars and Wipeout, and then they made some games that weren't too spectacular either, but they also made Lemmings, I believe. But, uh, it's, you know, uh, like a flight, mission-based flight game with horrible drawing problems. I mean, look up a video. Blast Radius, I think is also another Psygnosis game, but I, I don't remember, actually. Uh, like, I'm drawing a blank on that game for some reason. Um, Soviet Strike and nuclear, nuclear Strike. But I think I own Nuclear? Maybe I own, no, I own Soviet Strike on Saturn. So. Uh, Jersey Devil. Just a unique little uh, platformer game, but it too has gone like crazy in price too lately. But uh, that's on my list. Crime Killer, because I rented it back in the day. It wasn't spectacular, but it moved to 60 frames per second. See Ninja, I picked up, so I crossed that out. PO'd, I picked up. Exhumed or Power Slave is one that I really want to get to. Um, Kingsley Adventure, that's uh, actually a platformer that someone brought to my attention recently. That's one I want to pick up. And then I've added, you know, Gex and Gex Enter the Gecko since I have Gex 3. But again, I wasn't huge on platformer games back there, back in the day on the PS1 or just in that whole... I didn't get into platformers until the PS2 era. Let's see, uh, Vigilante 8, the first one, because I have second offense, and even though I find Vigilante 8 to be incredibly overrated, um, at the time I think it was mostly just the graphics, which looked better than Twisted Metal, because um, Twisted Metal 2 is still my favorite. Road Rash Jailbreak. Um, I remember when I first got Road Rash 3D, you know, I was like, oh yeah, Road Rash, and didn't quite recapture the feel of the classic... You know, because I rented Road Rash 3 on the Sega Genesis like a million times back in the day. And, uh, see, I was looking through today and two games popped into my head. Death Trap Dungeon, which I know isn't very spectacular, but I always kind of wanted to play it. So, you know, I could pick that up for really, really cheap, even if it's not that great. You know, not bad. And Courier, Courier Crisis, which, uh, um, it's like a... Curry or game where you're on a bike. Um, and I think that's that's it. That's my want list. And it took me almost wow. Uh, went over a lot more time than I thought. So I'll have to put like another random video behind my old montage video because uh, well I rambled on for quite a while. But um, these are just some games that were on my list and uh, of games that I want to get still. And I still got so many games. I mean, if I went, I got PS2 once and N64 and Dreamcast and Xbox and GameCube. And it's just crazy, you know. Just you know, as a crazy gamer, who, gamer collector, I guess. But uh, that's about it for this video, since I've rambled on long enough. And maybe I've reminded you of some PS1 games you guys used to play or wanted to play or. But, anyway, um, I guess that's about that, so I'll talk at you guys later. I'd say talk to you, but hey, you're not talking back to me, I'm just rambling. 2D Gamer, signing out. JB Williams.